good morning good people i just got depressed super fast as i'm recording this video because my skin is like uh but we're not gonna let whatever i feel right now to trump into what i'm trying to do so today is a little bit different because i am on a fitness journey right now to get my body together one because as y'all should know by now i am being in part of a wedding that requires me to try to lose some weight because we both end up taking the measurements exactly to my body my bridesmaid dress that's what i'm talking about i can't sit in it <laughs> and that's a big problem so I have to take serious measures to try to get my body together. So that means this morning, you guys are coming along with me to be active. Since I've been home, I haven't been very active and I have gained some weight. Since being home in the past four or five months, I probably gained 15 pounds unknowingly. I don't feel like I look like I gained any weight. I don't feel like my measurements is that crazy, but for some reason, this what the scale say. Honestly, it's not even about the weight. It's about my body shape and what I want it to be. So I was planning on trying to get into shape anyway, but now that the wedding is roughly a month away i don't really have time to play so that means that i have to cut out alcohol for at least the next month drink water i bought this at target yesterday and if you're looking for a cheap water bottle go to target because this was only like six bucks and this is a 32 ounce cup and it has a little pour spout for me this type of water bottle is perfect because I hate when I have like the straws or the stems and extra pieces and then the straw piece end up tasting weird or smelling weird and then I don't never use it. So that's the reason why I'm not like a huge water bottle fan. But I think I'm going to be a fan of this one because it just has the little um the little hole and you just squeeze it and it opens. So I think I'm actually grab another one of these and just do these types of water bottles. Why am I here? It's just a lot happening. I probably have to le lose at least two or three inches to be able to sit down. <laughs> I'm also going to look into it getting taken out. But right now, I'm trying to get my calories up. I'm being more conscious about my protein and calorie intake and my steps. I start wearing my Apple Watch, which I always had for a long time. Not always had, but today we are at a park. And we are going to be... Sorry, I'm getting my watch set up i'm just depressed did i say we're skating <laughs> we're skating we're skating today that's what we're doing i had bought um i feel like it's so weird for me to be doing this hold on let me see if i can change my camera angle i think that's a little bit better so i ended up buying these rollerblades i wanted to do more active fitness e activities so i bought actual skates so i can like truly skate i found a local community but they have large trails and i think this would be super dope to skate at but i noticed that they have this can y'all see that so part of me is wondering if i want to attempt to use these y'all guys gonna be getting a lot more my fitness and what i'm eating i don't 100 percent know what i'm doing what i do know is i need to be do diligent about me eating more. One thing I'm planning on doing different this time in my weight loss journey is I'm going to be taking supplements. I did get some protein powder, also um, healthier snacks, and being more active and drinking water because water is something I don't drink. All right, so like still 15 minutes later, I'm still in the same spot because I'm trying to figure out if I can actually fit these skates. They feel a little too wide and I have on a really thick sock. I feel like I need a more narrow skate. I really hate to skate in them and want to return them. But at the same time, how would I know if I really like it unless I really try to skate in them? And I tried to tighten it really tight and darn it broke the buckle. Look. I don't know if you guys can see, but you see how this is struggling for its life. Oh, you look in yourself. Oh, that's hard. 
you can't do this, anything unless you're on your own resistance. Yeah. Yeah, I just feel like my ankle's too loose. Way too loose. Man, I thought I was recording and all that talking. I guess I wasn't. That was extremely short-lived. I'm taking them off. And I'm gonna return them. I'm gonna end up hurting myself really bad. I've only went not even half a mile in my feet are killing me it's not worth hurting myself right now when i got things to do i done spent half the time that i have allotted to trying to get these skates to work for me so i'm not gonna do it so i'm gonna go ahead right now at least for these next 10 15 minutes go to that little thing i showed you and work out a little bit i really like this jacket because it makes me sweat i know i'm breathing hard i'm sorry my back already hurts I'm so glad I stopped that. Let's see how this works. <laughs> Big OB. Let him have that. This might be a sign in the It's just not meant. I almost bust my ass. Yeah. <laughs> that didn't work out at all. That was a shit show. Absolutely shit show. show. Turn on this AC. If y'all hit an AC, y'all should just understand that. I understand people get mad at the AC when you, your focus should be on the vlog or the video. Did I do anything? Watch. Did I do anything? I need to watch a YouTube video at this point to figure out the mon. Yeah. Let's do that because ain't much happening right now besides me needing to drink water. Why am I so angry? Because I was disappointed. Last night, I wanted to go to the gym and really did. Why am I yelling? I sound like a toddler. Last night, I wanted to go to the gym, but David wanted to work. So I was supposed to wait until he come back to go to the gym, but he didn't come back home until like 10 o'clock at night. And by that time I was sleepy. So I was like, I'll get up in the morning early and go there like four or five, five o'clock in the morning. I didn't wake up to seven. I started to prep to go get do this and I feel like I didn't do much. So there's like two things in a row. And right now I got a, a guest pass to EOS Fitness. I'm supposed to be checking it out, see how I feel that hoping by Tomorrow, I would decide if I want to sign up or not. I feel like I almost just got to sign up. Yeah. I also do want to start following a lot more people that will inspire me and motivate me to lose weight because I want my life and things that is showing up on my timeline to be fitness oriented, but in a way that makes you want to do it. I don't want my workouts and my journey to be unrealistic because I feel like that's what it felt. It'd be too extreme, but I want it to be like almost like Instagram girl baddies, but fitness related to where it's not taunting me that I'm not there yet, but inspire me to want to be there. Does that make sense? One thing I hate about Instagram and social media is a lot of people benefit and they say they did this and they did that in order to lose the weight. And then they just, they be lying to you. They be lying to you. I want to follow somebody who was a thickums and not like 10 years ago. I want to see somebody who is more current in their goal and they already lost the weight. I don't want, I want necessarily a fast track but my overall goal is a six month goal. In six months, I wanna see a dramatic difference. Not drastic, just a difference. But like you see like this, and this girl's beautiful. 
thickums or not beautiful so like you see this girl right here gorgeous thickums gorgeous girl but look at her after one year look at her one year yeah you better poke that thing out girl but look at her she made a difference you know what i'm saying she stu stuck to whatever she needed to do trial and error no but she did it you see stuff like that like that's motivating it's like boo what did you do and also i hate when people be so much on this little fad diet thing where they're trying to sell you stuff stop trying to sell me stuff and tell me the truth what did you do i'm trying to do that look at this it's like this is the couple i'm trying to be It's like not necessarily about fitness, but this is what I want my life to be. Not like bougie like this, because in all reality, my mind want to be bougie like this, but I'm not. I'm really not bougie like this. So all that don't matter. But look how good she look at every location she go to. She look good, okay? Look at that. Look at that dress. Look how it's fitting. The body body in. I want to wear any outfit and not ever feel self-conscious about it. So this is motivating me to not necessarily live this lifestyle. But when I want to be this type of person, I want to step out. I want to change my algorithm to show things that motivate me to want to make me want to make a lifestyle change and not like a phase, you know? So today outside of that, I'm going to be going home and doing the girl's hair today. Today's a hair day, nothing special, all boring stuff. All right, so I am clearly back at the house and David's about to leave, but I wanted to look at a couple things before we get to doing the girl's hair because I have realized that I do have a, some gym-esque equipment that I have gotten over time when I've been went through some of these phases. So I really want to go through some of the stuff that I have at home and see what can I do at home. If I remember correctly, I actually got a decent amount of stuff. By the way, I really do like that little area. So I definitely will be going back. But I just grabbed a couple things. I mean, essentially everything I can see so far. And that is this mat. I think I use this mat all of one or two times. I also realized I do actually have dumbbells. I really need to implement this because that would be nice because one thing I am not happy with is my arms. This would be nice. This actually feels good. It's so crazy to even see my arms like this because I was known for having like the Angela Bassett arms and the fact that they're like so wiggly jiggly and big is a no-go for me. I also have this, is it five pounds? Yeah, five pound kettlebell. This would be good for legs when I do those little leg body. So the fact that I have some things is crazy. I have this resistant band. I also do have this resistant band that straps to your legs. This little wheelie. I don't even think this can hold me to be honest. This is gonna look terrible. Which, it can hold me. I just can't hold me. <laughs> but I do think I need a water wheel. That wheel is too wiggly for me. It's just probably cheap. Oh, this is a, oh, this is a good one too. A leg resistant band. That's serious. Look at this. Oh my God. That was my ass. Mommy. Yes, baby? I have a Okay, can you give me a minute, baby? I'll come out and take all the pictures you want. I'll come in. Can you wait until I'm done, please? Okay. Okay, thank you, baby. I'm not so crazy on the building my glutes phase right now because one, I don't need to build that right now. I'm trying to lose some thigh to hip rate and not like add to it. So I don't want to be glute focused, but I know some of these exercises are also good for more than just glutes. I also have a blue one. This is, part, oh yeah, this is where I would start, here. I also have jump rope. I know jump rope is really, really good for losing weight. 
I do have a purple one. I want to look at getting the stepper. So I'm going to go ahead and get to it because David needs to start getting ready because he is going to a guy's brunch thingy. And I also need to eat. I did find that one gym equipment that I was talking about. Let me show you. Basically, it is this bar here that has these leg pieces. And essentially, you just slip your feet through the little tabs and it acts like a a barbell is it a barbell and basically those things that i've seen before was the resistance of that i think this would be a good way for me to start implementing strength training as well as weights to my regimen anywho the reason why i picked up the camera wasn't just to show you that but it was to show you what i'm planning on eating for lunch all right so for lunch i am planning on eating this and this is just a a mexican bowl from good and gather it came with seeds and the sauce i already implemented it in my fitness pal app which i'm trying to use that to basically show or understand where my calorie intake as well as my protein and all that. So this is what it's looking like, the bowl, as well as having a little bowl of yogurt. This is just plain Greek non-fat yogurt with honey and granola. So right now in the Fitness Pal app, I am at I think 800 calories or something. Let me flip the camera. So, yeah, I have about 900 calories left for the day. So I think I'm going to eat dinner. Let me see your teeth. Open. Lord. Lord, I'm sitting here talking to Nala. And she's about to lose another two. Crazy. That's wild. You about to lose another two? That's crazy. How the two came in pretty good, actually. Let's see. Open your mouth. And see it? She got all the tea. It didn't last that long. I know her face probably dirty, but then now she's about to lose the one next to that one. It's fine. Anyway, chaos. Get it together. But that's my food. I have about 900 calories left in my day. So my plan is to work out when they actually go to, what you call it? Go to uh sleep. Stop us back on the scene, young conscious. Always been me, young popping. 